Hey guys, it's Naomi Daniels TV and today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to highlight and contour and I just want to jump right into this video and get this going without a long intro like I normally do, I know. It is of me to talk a lot, but today it's going to be different. I just want to jump right into this video so that you guys finally know how to highlight and contour. This video was requested by one of my good friends at school. Her name is Sama and I just decided to do this video for you guys today. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you learn a lot from it and I hope you take your time with your makeup and make sure you get it perfectly. So let's go. So on my face right now I only have my um, foundation from MAC, the normal one I always wear. and. On top of my foundation, I have my um, fond concealer on my eye and on my eyebrow to highlight my eyebrow. And, and also I have the um, Naked Palette 3 eyeshadow on my eyes right now, as you can see. Face, I am going to add, I add the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee um, as my highlighter. And you have to remember your highlighter has to be one shade lighter than your normal shade or two shades lighter than your normal shade. So we're just going to draw a triangle underneath our eye. Just like that. And you're going to draw lines right by your chin, a line right by your cupid's bow, and a line on your nose, on your forehead, right here, and right here. And with your beauty blender or a sponge, you're going to spray your Studio Fix um, spray on it to make it damp. And you're going to use this to blend out the whole highlighting on your face. So let us do that. like so and then after you've done that you are going to take your um, mineral powder my my mineral powder is um, by Ruby Kisses and it's a um, really light shade for um, setting my um, highlighter so I'm gonna put the brush right in that and I'm just going to tap on it like so
And after that, you are going to take your um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa for contouring. And you are just going to apply that by here, your cheekbone. And right here. And by the sides of your nose. And also, right by your Cupid's bow. I only do the Cupid's bow because I use um, my setting powder um, for the other parts of my face. I don't like to use this, so I don't use too much of it. But you can if you want to. So after you get that done, you want to um, take your contouring brush and um, you want to take your contouring powder, which mine is also the mineral powder, um, the brand is Ruby Kisses, but in a darker shade. Just want to put that on it and set where you've contoured. Just like that. I like to put some by my chin because I always feel like my chin is like the lightest among all. And then you want to take the smaller part and just contour your nose with it. just like that and also on your finger you want to take a bit and put it right by your cupid's bow you can blend that in and if you like you want to take the lighter one again and just fix up a bit more areas you feel like you messed up at. And then when you think you're done, if you have a kabuki brush that is just like clean and has like nothing on it, you just want to take your kabuki brush and just like clear up excess powder. And this is just how I like to do my contouring and I hope this video was helpful. So I'm just going to finish my look by adding the lipstick on. I'm going to use two different lipstick. I'm going to use my MAC lipstick in um, Cyber. And I'm going to use this lipstick I got from Forever 21. And it's in red. So first I'm going to go in with the darker lipstick. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go in with the red one. Just like very, very lightly. And just only on my bottom and blend in. Not trying to make it too dark or too light. It's just perfect peppish, a perfect kind of pinkish, purplish color. And this is all I do for my contouring. And yes, I hope this video is helpful to um, 
person who requested it, I even forgot to tell you guys, yes, by um, my friend Sama at school. And um, yes, I hope this video is very helpful to you and um, to the other beginners that are starting with makeup. And like I said, my motto, just take your time. Take your time with the whole makeup process. It, it gets kind of hard, but it gets easier and you look good. And I'm not trying to say like even without makeup you don't look good. Without makeup everybody looks good, I find. Makeup is just to enhance your beauty. So, yes, I hope this was very helpful. So, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.